Hey everyone, congratulations on making it to your crystal art party. We're gonna use pipe cleaners, hot water, and borax to create beautiful crystal formations. You will need a pipe cleaner, a few different cookie cutters to choose from, a popsicle stick, and a plastic cup with some borax in the bottom. Now borax is like this magical stuff it's like laundry detergent, but you can use it for slime making or crystal making. So I love it. That's what we're using today. The first step is to pick your favorite cookie cutter shape. I chose a star for my example. And then pick your favorite pipe cleaner and place the end along the side of the cookie cutter with a tail hanging off. Now hold the pipe cleaner against the edge of the cookie cutter and bend the wire in the pipe cleaner right against the corners and curves of the shape. Notice that I'm rotating around the cookie cutter little by little and making sure that the pipe cleaner is wrapped around all the corners of the shape. Now, once you reach the end, you should have two tails of the pipe cleaner sticking off of the cookie cutter. Hold the pipe cleaner against the cookie cutter and use your muscles to twist the two tails together. Now you're ready to take out the cookie cutter and check on your shape. If the shape turned out, awesome job. If it didn't turn out so great, you could also squish the pipe cleaner into the right shape with your fingers. Now that we have the shape of our pipe cleaner, take the tails that you twisted together earlier and wrap them around the popsicle stick in the middle. So bend the tails into a nice hook that you can fit around that popsicle stick so that it hangs downward. The plan is to dangle our pipe cleaners in the hot water and borax mixture to let the crystals form around it. As soon as you're done with that, you're ready for me to give you some hot water to pour into the borax. Bring your cup to me and I will fill it almost all the way to the top with very, very hot water. So be very careful with this part. And your job will be to mix the water and borax together with a spoon. Once you're done stirring, take the popsicle stick and the pipe cleaner hanging off of it and lay that popsicle stick across the top of the cup so that the pipe cleaner is completely covered with the borax and water mixture. Once it's all set up like this, we just need to wait two or three days for those crystals to start forming. You might be wondering, how are these crystals going to grow? Well, right now in our plastic cups, we have borax and water mixed together, just like this picture. The stars are the borax in this picture, and then the raindrops are the water. So right now the water is really, really hot, and all those little water droplets are moving around, literally moving around because they're hot. Over the next two or three days, the water is going to cool down. And when the water cools down, it stops moving. When the water stops moving, it forces all the borax pieces to fuse together to create beautiful crystal patterns. And these crystals keep building and building on each other as the water gets colder and colder. And some of these crystals will form right onto our pipe cleaner shapes. In two or three days, once our crystals have formed, we will take them out of the water and let them dry. And then let's add a pretty ribbon or piece of yarn to the end of it so that we can easily hang it up on a Christmas tree or on the wall. You're gonna get a pretty ribbon or piece of yarn about this long. 
and we're gonna tie the ends into a balloon knot. So to do that, take both ends of the string, I call them the tails, and lay the tails side by side. Then take those two tails and wrap them around two of your fingers. Now tuck the two tails into the loop created by your fingers and once it pokes through to the other side, grab the two tails and the other two strings on the other side and pull at the same time. Now your balloon knot is done, you should have a nice loop of yarn. Take the hook of your crystal ornament and wrap it around the bottom of the yarn loop. Make sure it's wrapped around nice and tight so that it doesn't fall off and now you're ready to hang your crystal anywhere you want, in a window, on a Christmas tree, on the wall. I hope you love it.